Cause in the morning, troubles, they don't last always. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand No matter what may come my way My life is in your hands With Jesus I can take it Blue team. Check, blue team. With him I know I can stand No matter what Microphone testing, my one, two, one, two Come on, people, it's 701. Seven. When your tests and trials, they seem to get you down. And all your friends and loved ones are nowhere to be found. Remember, there's a friend. In Jesus, who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it, I know that I can stand. I can take it with him I know I can stand no matter what may come my way my life is in your hands oh I know that I can make it I know Hello and welcome to another uh, Hope at the Mercy Seat. It's our Wednesday evening prayer service and it promises to be a wonderful encounter as we talk with God, as we approach His mercy seat, asking for mercy and grace to help in a time of need. I'd like to invite you to uh, encourage someone else to participate in this program. So share the link. Use the time now to go ahead and uh, call your friends and to share this link in your WhatsApp groups and so on as we prepare for this evening's program. We have a very important uh, session this evening as usual because prayer is important and vital. And as we get ready for prayer, our hearts will be blessed with good music. But before we go into our praise and worship for this evening... I invite you to join me in prayer as we seek God's guidance in this program. Father, we ask now that your Holy Spirit will speak to our waiting hearts. Forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Relieve us, O God, of the burdens of the day and help us 
to surrender them at your feet. Grant us a wonderful program as we worship together with those who are online. This is our asking in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll now turn over to our praise team. We are here this evening to shout to the Lord and also to lift his name on high. And we want wherever you are just to join us in singing these wonderful songs for praise and worship. So we start off by singing. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord. Lord, I lift your name on high. And so we are so happy that you have decided to join us. We are going to be going into our praise and worship, but we're having some challenges. We're grateful that you are here. And we ask that you also pray for this program because we know that there are technical difficulties sometimes beyond our control. So we pray that you will continue to pray for us. Uh, this evening, Pastor... Uh, Andre, Andre Wallace, uh, who would have joined us last week, will be joining us for this evening's program. We'll also have uh, one of our members, elders from the, a prayer band member rather, from the Harrison Church, Sister Jacinth Pearson, uh, joining us for this very important evening prayer service. And so we, we're hoping uh, that you will continue to stay with us as we continue to worship God in the beauty of holiness. We'll now turn back to our praise team. Well, we're still, we're still not ready for that just yet. But let me use the opportunity to invite you to share with us our, uh, your uh, praise and testimonies. Drop in the chat those messages of how God has brought you through tough times. And I will be looking for those uh, that you share. I really hope you can uh, put those in the chat. You can share those with us. Um, tell us your praise moments, how God has uh, come through for you so that we can inspire others. And I see um, someone saying, Yes, I see you, Carol Mills. You are giving God thanks for taking care of us so that we can be in this fashion again to worship you. And uh, may your ho Holy Spirit fill our hearts with your love and desires. Wonderful. So, and we are seeing your prayer requests, Al Althea. We will be taking those shortly. Um, but again, I am very excited to to, to hear your stories. We're, we're hoping you can share those stories with us. Of course, uh, YouTube will not allow us to get all those stories. So you can send those stories to uh, prayer at westjamaica.org. That's prayer uh, at westjamaica.org. Or you can share it in our Facebook Messenger. You can just drop us a line there and we will retrieve your story. Um, so those are the options that we have, and uh, we, we're hoping you can make good use of that. Um, I, I keep noting your requests. I see uh, Margaret Paul saying, pray for my son. He's having lots of pain with stomach ulcer. I also take note of um, Carol Jeffers asking for prayer for her family. She's saying, please pray for healing of my left eye. Thank you. And uh, Carol Jeffers seemed to be from another island. That name seems to be one of the other small islands here in the Caribbean. Good to have you. Good night. Please pray for my friend Melinda. She is in the hospital fighting for her life from cancer. And so we are happy to have all of you joining us. Uh, Sharon Jarrett, um, you're, you're thanking God for your sister who is doing okay after her first chemotherapy treatment. Praise God for that. We give the Lord thanks even for small mercies. We are grateful for, to hear those kind of response. 
I see also Samantha, please pray for my mother who is having a finan who has who is having financial struggles. Pray for my kids and their father that God may deliver unto him the heart to turn over his life. And also pray for your strength, um, Samantha. Good nice to hear from you, uh, Veronia Daly. We invite you to continue to pray for our uh, participants here, whether on YouTube or on Facebook. And uh, I am taking note of Gillian Telwell saying, please pray for my son, Michard. And Lorna Campbell, please continue to pray for me for healing and prayer for my entire family, especially those who don't accept the Lord as yet. And I am taking note also of uh, Audrey Wilson asking for prayer for her sister and her son, Latrell, who is having a battle with drugs. I will certainly will be praying for that because these are addictions that are very much compulsive and dangerous. And so we will be putting those matters before the Lord. But we did promise we will have the uh, praise team singing for us. And so at this time, we're going to be turning over to them as we prepare for the next segment of prayer and the word. All right, and so we do take note that you are having challenges hearing what's going on. We are mindful of the technical difficulty and we are, our team is working on that. And so we're going to take the time to pray and ask the Lord's intervention. I hope that you who are watching online will, will pray along with us. So let us just bow our heads and whisper a word at this time. Father in heaven, tonight we prepare to present to your people and intercede on your people's behalf, but we recognize that the equipment would not, is not working as intended. We know, O oh Lord, that the enemy sometimes will try different things to impede, but in the name of Jesus, we're asking, Lord, that you will reach down and you will uh, touch every piece of equipment that transmits this message. You will touch those who are operating. And I pray, O oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit will bring about a kind of resolution that will ensure that there is clarity not only of the music, but of the message that will go forward tonight. Bring about victory now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We trust the Lord to work. I know you are praying. And so 
we will be getting some improvement on that, hopefully very shortly. Um, so so we, we thank you for staying with us. We take note of the requests as well. We take note of your messages in the chat. Carol Mills is also asking for prayer for her husband, uh, Glenford, that is in the hospital. We take note of your requests in that regard. We are working to bring things back on stream. And uh, as soon as they would have gotten that right, we will move into our uh, segment for a special prayer. I'll be joined by um, Sister Pearson and also soon by Pastor Wallace. So I understand that there is, the sound is back. Let us sing power and majesty. Praise to our King.
Amen, amen, amen. Nothing compares to the promise we have in King Jesus. Welcome, Sister Pearson. It is good to have you. Thank you. And I'm uh, looking forward to our season of prayer here this after this evening, rather. And I'll, already you are flooding the chat with the many requests from uh, different parts of the world I know from which you come. Uh, but we are nevertheless one under this great and mighty um, heaven where the Lord has allowed us to be. I see big picture thinker. Um, well, he's saying probably sometimes sickness is a blessing in disguise. Uh, uh, Melida Cassio, good evening. Please pray for me and my children. They are all adults. Please pray that they come back to Jesus. Um, do you have any more there, Sister Pearson, that you would want to mention? Yes, I, I am seeing a number of persons asking for prayer for their children and grandchildren. And what a time yes, yes. for us to ask the Lord to cover our children. So um, they're going up so quickly. I'm <laughs> yes. seeing, um, 
Cecile. I, Cecile Cole is asking for prayer for her family and um, her grandchildren. Yes. Um, quite a number. Um, Mac Nija, please pray for me and children, grandchildren, and friends to accept Christ. Also for my health and the peace of mind. Wonderful. All right, Marlon James says, please pray for my family that God will answer our prayer, that whatever we ask, he will answer, please, Lord. Uh, and he's saying, thank you. So he's praying and he's asking, and that's all right. You're asking for help. Um, Hortense Henry, uh, good night, everyone. Happy that life is spared, and we are together worshiping God. Okay, pray for myself and my children and grandchildren. Any more? I see Marie Mossington. She's asking for prayer for herself and her husband. Okay. And in times like these, we need to be praying for the family. That's right. Satan is at war with us. That's right. That's right. Um, All right. Wonderful. So these are the names that we have thus far. And uh, as we get ready, we will be praying for these requests. Mr. Pearson, would you just lift up these uh, many requests to the Lord for us as we move into the rest of this segment. Let us pray. Before Jehovah's awful throne, ye nations bow with sacred joy. Know that the Lord is God alone. He can create and he destroy. Heavenly Father and our God, we are indeed grateful, Lord, for the privilege of prayer. We thank you, dear Lord, that you have given us life today. You have clothed us in our right minds. We were able to go about our daily duties, transactions in the highways and the edges, and you protected us. And we say thank you. Thank you, dear Lord, that even at a time like this, we are able to come into your presence, realizing that we are no match for the enemy. And so we are here calling on you, God, because we are in need of your strength. We ask you, dear Lord, that you will be with each and every person that has placed a request in the chat. We want to lift up those parents that have been asking for prayers for our children and grandchildren, our husbands and our wives. Lord, we recognize the time that we are living in. Oh, how the devil is having a field day with our children. And so, Heavenly Father, because we know you who can create and you destroy, you are able to hold them in the hollow of your hands. Lord, I present all these requests for children and grandchildren into your hands, Lord. Your hands are big enough and strong enough to hold them. And so I ask, dear Lord, that even as some of them has gone out, have gone out to schools in, away from home, I ask you, dear Heavenly Father, that your presence will be continually with them, dear Jesus. When the enemy would have dangled his, 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 his things before them, Lord, to lure them away, may they see you, Lord, may they hear your voice, telling them to move away, to run to you, Jesus. And may they obey, Lord, so that their, heart, their souls will be spared. Oh God, give them a mind to know who they are and whose they are. In these times, Lord, our children are confused. So much confusion about our gender, who is a male and who is a female. Heavenly Father, from the youngest one to the oldest one, I present our children to you, Jesus. And I ask you, dear Lord, that you touch their minds, their brains, every part of their being, dear Lord, that they will not be confused about who you have created them to be. Help them, dear Lord, that even the, the false information that has been scattered about will not move them because they would have been standing on your word. For our husbands and our wives, Lord, we know this is a test of whose we are and who we are. The devil is rattling our cribs. But Heavenly Father, we are confident tonight that you who have called us is still willing and ready, standing by to help us when we call on you. So, Lord, I present our families, our husbands, our wives into your care. I ask you, dear Lord, that your Holy Spirit will take up a precedence in our homes. We ask you, dear Lord, that you will remove the enemy from our homes. Don't even stop him at the gate, Jesus. Move him far away from our households. 
And may you take up a, pres a presence in our house, Jesus. May he know that he has no place there because that home is a home where God himself resides. Give us the victory tonight, Jesus. Give us the victory, Lord. We long to be victorious. Help us to surrender totally to your, your, your leading, Jesus. Help us to recognize and to know your voice that when you are speaking to us, we will be obedient to move. Grant us your mercies, Lord. And thank you for having even sinful humanity like us in your presence, talking to you, being our best friend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much that you went all the way to Calvary for us. Help us, Lord, that even as we worship tonight, we will reconsecrate ourselves to you, being determined not to lose sight of the, of the goal, but to press forward with you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray and say thanks. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much, Sister Pearson. It's just fitting at this time that we'll take a break as we will be favored with a special item of music.
Amen, amen. That name is worthy amen. to be praised. Amen. That name is worthy to be adored. And uh, we can testify that had it not been for the name of Jesus, there have been so many things that we would have not escaped. But God in his mercy has kept us. Now this evening, I, I'd like to share with you uh, on the issue of praying persistent prayer. And I think one of the best illustrations we can find about uh, persistent prayer is in the story of Jacob wrestling with the angel found in the book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 24 through 30. Genesis chapter 32 verse 24 through verse 30. In this story we find Jacob battling for his salvation battling for the resuscitation of his spirituality, of his saving relationship with Jesus. You know, sometimes in our Christian journey, we veer off course and we become very obstinate sometimes. Uh, we try to make excuses for our spiritual condition. We try to cut corners with God and we explain away where he stands in our lives. We try sometimes to avoid his presence because we do not want to come clean. And Jacob was one person who was guilty of that. He was always taking stuff, hiding. He was cunning and conniving until time and life caught up with him. And this evening, as we look at his story, we find a few principles that can help us to appreciate the value of being open and honest with God, but also being persistent in asking him to save us because it ultimately lies within the power of Almighty God to save us because we are saved by grace through faith. Now, the truth is that Jacob, the Bible says, was left alone. And they wrestled a man with him in verse 24 until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him, and he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go on except thou bless me. And when, and he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For, a prin for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and hast prevailed. Now, there are a few things here that I'd like to emphasize. Because number one, we see that Jacob was left alone. There comes a point in your experience when you need to be alone with God. You need to set aside some time to be in God's presence alone. Some people this may, may decide to spend the night wrestling with God. You forsake sleep. If it's even for one night, it's not all the time. You don't want to make that a habit. But if it means that you have to set aside these moments to... To wrestle with God. You know where you are standing with him. You know that your spirituality is not where it's supposed to be. You know that you have been like a Jacob. Cutting corners. Being a trickster. Being a ginnel. Trying to make ends meet by merely using your head. And using your wits and your, your charisma to, to get through in life. Not uh, banking and trusting God's divine will and purpose for you. And you've been shortchanging your... Your, your relationship with God because you have been trusting in your own wit and wisdom and not in God's power, not in God's commands. There comes a time when you need to be alone with God, when you need to spend time alone with Him. When you read the rest of the story, the Bible says that not even His wife, there was no one there with Him. He was left alone. There comes a time 
when you need to be alone with God. Christ, the Bible says, would often rise up a very great while before day. And he would spend time at the feet of his father. He would find a solitary place to pray. The Bible, Ellen White says, we must guard jealously those hours that we spend in the presence of God. We must, we must be determined to protect the, that time. Don't let anything stop you. Not your phone. Not a message. Not conversations. Not your own stresses. Bring them into that moment of prayer. And ask the Lord to take them. So, so it is important that if you're going to fight like Jacob, you have to be left alone. Number two, when you prevail in prayer, when you spend time in prayer, when you are persistent in prayer, when you spend time and plead with God like Jacob to say, I will not let go until you bless me. Be prepared that you are going to be changed. You are going to be changed forever. You are going to be changed for, forever. Jacob's walk changed the, the the bible says the, the the angel touched his loins and he was his thigh rather and he was changed his he he was his hip was out of socket his walk changed the truth is that sometimes god will allow things to happen to us and it will change our perspective we will no longer be called trickster or jinnal but we'll be called israel we will be a child of God. I want you also to observe that we are too weak to fight against God. Yes. You know, it wasn't that the pre-incarnate Christ could not have shrugged off Jacob. It, 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 it's, it's very clear that Jacob was not as powerful as this being. But he still allowed him to hold on to him. He still allowed him to fall into his embrace. And what God is saying, what I'm getting from that message, is that sometimes we are fighting with God about everything else, but we are not fighting with him about our salvation. And he's just allowing us to keep on fighting. Sometimes we are looking for a blessing, and we are looking for the blessing to come in a car, in, in extra money, in a, in a bank account, in someone mysteriously blessing us with some cash but what God wants is for us to work out our salvation for us to fix our relationship with him and he wants that closeness God is saying today spend some alone time with me spend some time in my presence spend some time talking over those issues those things that are hindering your relationship with him Spend some time talking with your heavenly father and do not let go until he blesses you. I take this opportunity to welcome Pastor Wallace who has joined us. And he'll be praying for the requests that have been running through the chat. We want you to take note of our prayer line uh, that's on your screen. Feel free to call those. We'll be lifting up those in prayer because we want you to know that God hears and answers Amen. prayer. Amen. And whatever it is that you're struggling with, like Jacob, the Lord will respond. You must, however, prevail. You know, Pastor, thank you so much for that powerful word. That, that story is one of my, I would say my most impactful prayer stories. You know, how, how God just humbled himself and just allowed Jacob, you know, to, to, to appear to be victorious. And that's God for you. He'll reach you where you are so he can take you to where you need to be. And we're so happy for the word. Thank you so much, Pastor. You know, there are a number of requests that we are seeing here. Uh, good evening, everyone. So good to see you and to be with you this evening. I'm seeing Angie said, please pray for my five-year-old grandson who is admitted in the hospital today. We will be praying for him. Uh, or just say, please pray for the little children doing pep. Uh, you may have touched that already, Pastor. 
and we're going to touch that some more. And my daughter is doing pep also, so we pray, and, and your daughter too. So we're praying for them, definitely, in, indeed. And of course, I've seen Ilet here. Please pray for my son that he'll give his life to Jesus. Pray also for me that I continue to take up my cross and follow Jesus. Lorna says, please pray for my husband and my children and grandchildren to come, to, come back to God and to accept and for him, them to have a closer walk with the Lord. Indeed, uh, Sasha Lee says, I'm connecting myself, my five children and family to this ministry. Indeed, we will connect with you. Keisha says, please pray for me and my family that God remember us and be merciful and gracious unto us. And we will take these pastor at this time as we pray together. Let us pray. Father in heaven, it is such a joy to, to know that you love us and that you care. And this evening we have been reminded that you are prepared to meet us where we are at. Where our weak faith may be. Where our doubting faith may be. Where our fears may have led us. Where we may be alone in that crisis or uh, this a series of crises, Lord. We are aware that we may be faced with that life-altering situation and we are crying out to you. And so this evening, gracious God, we want to place into your loving hands these your children. Lord Angie, who's asking for prayer for her grandson and, and all those names that we listed, Father. We believe yes. that it's not an accident why these requests have been sent. We believe God is not just by chance why we are here praying this evening and we're asking you, gracious God, that you will do as your children are asking of you this evening. But better than that, Father, you promised that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine. And so we place, Lord, the families of those who are seeking for them to be reconnected to you, Lord. We place into your hands those homes where children may have strayed and are struggling. And, and here are mothers and grandmothers asking that you will intervene, Father. We place husbands and even wives who uh, they are being prayed for for that breakthrough. Father, take charge tonight. And as you did for Jacob, we pray that you will do for somebody this evening, gracious God. And Lord, we pause to place into your loving hands our nation's children, especially those who will be doing the, the other paper for the PEP exam tomorrow. We place those from Harrison, Lord, and all those across West Jamaica Conference. Oh, loving Father, many right now are nervous. Many right now may have their sleeps disturbed because they're wondering what will tomorrow's paper be like. But Father, you promise that you will give to them the peace that will surpass even their own human understanding. And so we pray this night. That you'll help these children to rest well and their parents to rest well and their teachers to rest well. Knowing that as long as they have trusted in you and they have prepared themselves, it shall be well. And so Father, we pray that you will take charge and you will take control. And Lord, we ask you that you will continue to inspire those who are sending their requests in the chat. And you'll hear and you'll answer according to God's divine purpose is our prayer and our asking. Let God's people say amen, amen and amen. amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Wallace, for that. I, I, I want you to note there is a request here in the chat for prayer for Sampa. I'm trying to find back that last name. It was sent by Anne-Marie Jarrett. 
Uh, she is saying he has been missing for, for 12 days now. He's from Book Village right here in Montego Bay. And uh, we, we, we're going to be lifting him up in, in prayer because we believe and uh, we're trusting. Yes. Okay. Okay. That, that's right. Prayer for this. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. All right. So that's Anthony Crooks there. And Marie Jarrett is providing a little bit more detail there. Of course, the family would very well be distraught at this time. And uh, I, I see, um, I still see some requests. Do you have any requests, dear sister? Yes, I, I, I am really holding on to this one. The, can you imagine sending your child away to study and he or she comes back to you sick? And so tonight we'll be lifting up Elizabeth Peters for her niece who went away to study in the U.S. and returned sick. But we know the God of heaven, the our healing Jesus, is still in the business. Amen. 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 All right. So we are going to be praying for these requests at this time. And uh, that's uh, Peters. What's the first name again? Elizabeth. Elizabeth Peters. Uh, that's the person making the request? The or? aunt. The aunt, aunt of... of okay. She didn't give the name for she the did. All right. Good. So we'll be lifting up those requests at this time. All right, and I see Pastor from Tamika Gale. Uh, she says, Pastor Wallace, I remember when you prayed for my son when he was in trouble. Please pray for him now mm. and also his sister so that they will come turn their lives over to God. Amen. Right, so we will be lifting up those. And finally, Evelyn Heaven is saying, please pray for my neighbor's granddaughter. She's suffering from lupus. Wow. And this is, a con this is a rare condition. Right. Um, for a lot of for for for, for uh, individuals to to be live with, uh, but we we still believe that God is not out of a miracle working business. We are trusting Him for victory, Amen. and so I invite us all to just bow our heads as we pray. Loving God and our King, just for a little while longer. We pause in your presence. Lord, we sense that these prayer requests come with great burden. Yes. And not all of it can be expressed with the limited words that the, the chat will allow. We are mindful, Father, that even if all the words could be poured out on a page, we still could not put our hands on a pain that those who have made this request feel. But Lord, you are God. Yes. You made us and you are touched with the feelings of our oh, infirmities. Yes. Yes. You understand, Lord, the hurt mm. that comes even from the situation with uh, the 64-year-old gentleman, Sampa. Mm. Lord, yeah, we know that you are interested in this your son mm. yes God a family is in a quandary a family is perplexed disturbed it's it's almost worse than death itself because you don't know what is happening to this individual they are confused at this time their words can't seem to bring him home and all the attempt to bring him back seem futile. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. we are asking that wherever he is, we are praying, Lord, that according to your will, you will bring him back yes, home. You will you'll bring him back to yes, his Lord. family. Yes, you will bring him to that space where they will see him again. They will enjoy his company again. Mm -hmm. We are still holding out hope, Lord, that he is still alive. We are holding hope that is still able to respond. And God, we are trusting yes. that you will give the family some release. Mm. You will bring them some relief in this matter to the point where they will rejoice and testify of your goodness. Praying, God, that you will strengthen them. Yeah. We lift up in your care the, the Peters, Elizabeth Peters' niece who uh, went to study but is back 
in her hometown or country seek God we we are putting her in your care and yes. asking that you will respond according to your divine will Amen. and power you'll respond O oh, great physician, yes. O oh, wonderful balm in Gilead, oh, will yes. you grant healing to your daughter according to your will? Amen. Lord, we are placing in your care every person in this chat who has made a request for physical restoration. Whether it is they are in a hospital, whether it is that they are at home, whether it is they are just down with the flu and they are making a request for release. Father, we are praying for your mercy. Amen. And we're asking that you will grant victory, that you will grant healing, and that ultimately, Lord, all the glory and honor will come up to your throne as a sweet-smelling incense. Amen. Bless your people once again. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say thanks amen. and amen. amen. We have Indeed. basically come to the end of our program we know the, the, you, you may not have heard your name from the chat. We would have done, uh, tried our best to call as many as we can. But we, we're saying tonight that the Lord is able. And while we, we can't answer all of these, while we may not be, be able to call all of these names, we believe that the Lord hears and answers. I'm going to ask uh, my two uh, Panelists, if you may, this evening, just to share a final few words of encouragement with you as we prepare to bring the curtains down on this evening's program. Okay. Um, it is no coincidence, Pastor, that the word that was presented tonight was on the importance of prayer in our lives today and the story of Jacob's wrestling ought to be our position today. When we consider the, the unfolding of, of, of what is happening around us, the prophetic unfoldings, it tells us that as a people, we need to be wrestling. If we have not started, we must start somewhere along the line. If it is our desire to be with Jesus, we must start wrestling with Jesus. Amen, Pastor. You know, Jacob faced his greatest test that night. It was that anguish. And you found that when he had his greatest test, he also had his greatest victory. Mm, true. To such an extent, the Bible alludes to the fact of the time of Jacob's trouble mm, yes. as to what the world will face yes. in the days to come. And even... Tonight, I was just with one of my young friends, and he's saying, Pastor, it's not easy out there. It is tough. It's challenging. The enemy is hitting hard. I want to say to somebody this evening that stay with God. Yes. Stand with God. Amen. Your greatest test mm. may come, but at your greatest test, the great God will stand up for you. Amen. And so hold on to Jesus. Amen. And throughout the rest of this week, be determined to gain that answer to your prayer through persistent faith. God bless you and Amen. be strong in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Wallace, Sister Pearson. And I, I still see the chats, the, the messages coming in. We just want to say to you, we'll continue to pray for these requests. I see the requests for uh, persons who are going into surgery, for persons who uh, have different issues to face. We'll be lifting up those in prayer. But we thank you again for joining us. And we want to encourage you. Continue to share your prayer requests with us. Uh, continue to also share your uh, moments of praise, your, your testimonies of thanksgiving for how God has come through for you through the means of prayer. And so thank you again for joining us. May God continue to bless you. Uh, join this platform on Friday evening for our very special Vesper service as Sister Popkin takes us through rest uh, and restoration. I also invite you to join us on Sabbath as we continue our online worship experience. God bless you, and do enjoy the rest of the evening.